Welcome, society members. We are excited to invite you to the Inhuman Patreon campaign. Next album called The End of the World. I love the artwork. Such a beautiful artwork. The art direction from Eptic is top notch, like all the way through it. Um, every time, it's just perfect. Yeah, Paul, I don't know. Not a fan. I, I like myself without glasses a lot more. I don't know. And I think the association with my my old self that had like 20 kilograms more than I, I have now um, is kind of the association with the glasses for me. So my mind tells me I look really fat with glasses. It's weird. Um, but I think that happens if you change yourself um, for, for the positive. For the future, some machine guns like in Streets of Rage would be sick. Totally. Um, definitely will happen in the future, but not in the near future. Um, there's a release planned in August, I think, that will have some machine gun type stuff. But I'm kind of tired of that shit, honestly. Uh, even though I use it sometimes. I mean, there's machine guns in war. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. And thank you, Paul. So let's start right away. Um, Aptic Lost in Space, first song of the album. I hope the um, uh, the order of the songs is right on YouTube. Mm, but I think so. Let's go. Thank you, man. I love that you love war. Mikrowellen befruchter, what's good, man? My hair hates me today, too. Ah, uh, nah. Nice vocal. It's the first track, yeah. Now it's time. Okay, roll the drums. It's going down. Okay, hearing that sample, I have to show you guys one song from from back in the days. I'm sure a lot of people know that one. Uh, it should be. Something like that. Okay, I have to mute my WhatsApp real quick. Here we go. Mm. Uh, it's the title of the song again. Oh my god, I absolutely hate this. Uh, war drums? I think it's war drums. Do I have good war drums? Could be it. Yeah. Such a classic, dude. Okay. Roll the drop. Okay. Some education here. <laughs> Okay, roll the drums. It's going down. That's the drop. Okay. It's going down. Kind of different approach. I like that. Now. 
nice melody here. It's dubstep, dude. Pretty dope. One drop only, still three minutes. I like that. Kind of different approach. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next up, we got To The Grave. Yeah, the drop was a bit weak, but it kind of feels like a cool intro, you know? it's It doesn't feel like the heavy dubstep banger. Um... But uh, it, it's definitely solid. Production is amazing. I'm really not happy with my hair today. Look at me. What do you see in my eyes? <laughs> Classic Aptic style melody, I like that. j you can tell me that 500 times and I will feel different, so don't try it. <laughs> really sick intro. Hey, First Blood. Oh, yeah. Really retro and old schoolish, but sounds insane. I love it. Aptic might have some of the best mix downs in the scene at the moment. Like, it, it's really, really clean. The drums snap through and stuff. I love it. Bring it! Really typical aptic, but extremely well executed, in my opinion. minutes wow damn uh, Thomas thank you for the follow <laughs> hey shiver and hey Vput Oh man, that's dope. That 
Damn, that's so nice. I have to rewind again. I'm sorry. Okay. Getting a bit repetitive though. Bring it. I love these little, little, really small changes though in the second drop. It's like the first one, but twisted a bit. And I, I can really appreciate that because again, if you have like a really good drop, you don't have to change it like entirely for the second one, in my opinion. And it's really well executed here. Really love these melodic sections though. It's fucking dope, man. I feel like the whole Aptic album so far, I listened to two songs now, but it feels like the uh, the OST of like some kind of super villain. I like that a lot. <laughs> Thomas, I'm good, thank you. But please speak English. <laughs> Look at me. What do you see in my eyes? Nice. I'm going to diss you right now. Now we got Ultimate Flex. <laughs> and that's why I love albums, especially from producers that produce for a long time, because they, for me at least, it feels like that they, they are more interested in branching out and trying out exciting things that they love instead of just doing what people expect. And here's a fucking house song now, and I'm absolutely stoked to listen to it. <laughs> Already a big fan of the variety. Quit talking. I had ten songs, Seth. Over. Quit talking. Over. You guys have no idea how much I want to show you my album. And it's still a long time until it comes out, even though it's done. It's so sad, dude. Quit talking. It's pretty cool. I love the pre-drop sound. Dude. Quit talking. That's sick, dude. Quit 
quit talking, it's over. Aptic and Joyride together would be dope, dude. Quit talking. Oh, that sound is sick. Quit talking. That barking type sound is fucking dope. Quit talking, it's over. And great sample work as always. Yeah. Damn nice. Quit talking. It's over. Next up, we get Aptic and Dylan fucking Francis. Next level. A name I haven't seen for quite a while now. Um, back in the days, Dylan Francis was definitely one of the big guys. So I'm kind of curious what will happen now. All those retro samples, dude. How many retro samples you want? Yes. Give me that cowbell. Maybe the second call up. I don't know, Paul. Oh, it actually sounds like a better version of Bloodbath, right? Hold up. I feel like the snare could use a bit more of the 2000 hertz just to snap a bit more, but otherwise it's pretty sick. Again, extremely clean mix down. Um, I, I like it. Definitely more trap oriented, but really, really sick. Next level. Oh, Flopper, that's you. The track is called Next Level. All these breaks are perfect. Like the timing of the breaks and stuff is incredible. Um, I like it. I like it. It's nothing too special, but I can definitely enjoy this. Uh, it's pretty cool trap banger. Next level. A 
But I had 100%. These little fills are ear candy masterpieces. The idea. Shortest song so far and definitely a good one. Uh, we can skip Wall of Death. Uh, we had the reaction on that one already. Um, but let's go for Never Again then. Hey, Val. That's a cool vibe. Oh, these samples and stuff, it's beautiful. Flux Pavilion vibes you had, that's it, that's it. The editing on the vocals is pretty cool. Yeah, it's it definitely got a flume touch, but also kind of reminds me of Imanu. Um, some of his more melodic stuff sounds similar as well. I mean, it's not really my taste, to be fair, but it's extremely well done. Pretty sure this will go off at a festival, you know, like everyone screaming the melody and stuff. This will go off, dude.
beautiful vibe on this one, really. Might be my favorite so far. Next up, Aptic, run it. Already live the... Uh, live. Voice engine stopped working. Uh, already love the intro here. It's dark, dude. <laughs> It sounds like something is missing. I got that shit to keep your whole planet bound, bro. It actually sounds a bit too flat, too clean, like some some kind of distortion in the lower end or in the lower mids would make this a bit more interesting, in my opinion. It feels like that little thing is missing here, even though it sounds kind of cool. Um, and I love that it sounds clean and all. And again, mixed on is perfect, but just feels like it's it's kind of not rough enough for it to really hit hard, if that makes sense. <laughs> How do I say this? Another hot one. That makes sense, kind of. I come with that. Yeah, Seth, or just like a distorted saw wave that plays in the in the lower region would help as well to just bump up the, the lower mids a bit. It's nitpicky though, the quality is insane still. I got that shit to keep your whole planet bound, bro. Uh, so far only that is planned flopper i got some other stuff to do as well but 
Friday is a uh, long stream again. Come with that. I mean, that one was decent for sure. Um, feels like something is missing somehow, but still production is top notch. Um, love the intro and the metro. Um, beautiful atmosphere again. Classic Eptic sound. Um, I mean, it, it kind of feels like it's supposed to be that clean, but for me at least, it feels like it's uh, missing something. Uh, hey, Trey Race. And that's good to you, Flopper. <laughs> Now we got Aptic with drum beats. When the dump, the dump, when the dump, dump, go like dump, the dump, when the dump, dump, when the drum beats go like dump, dump. What an intro. Actually, pretty cool. I love the drums. And this got this grittiness and distortion that I was missing in the, in the one before, you know? That sound, dude. <laughs> when the drum beats go like this. Cool melody here. Go like this. Like. And amazing samples again. Like. Prayer race for real? That's educational material here. Let me see. Mm, is there like a big version of this? Is this huge? I mean, I can't see an actual dick. There's just this little thing. Right? There's like something is missing here. Um, he got a beautiful face, though. Whoops. When the dump. That beat them. Hey, Fluffy. Oh my god, the vocal samples are really, really cool. 
Kazoo, say it once again, and then he kazoos the shit out of you again. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It sounds so tortured, the sounds screeching the blah. When the drum beats go like this. I love this melody here. Really sick. Definitely my favorite uh, along Never Again was it, I think, the more melodic one. Now we get Aptic and Must Die with Skill Check. Interesting combination as well. Hey, Bloodset. Lefris, thank you. Oh, that's dope, yeah. And thanks for the follow, Lefris. If you don't know my music yet, definitely check it out. Hint, hint. Like, you hear the really distorted... Um, sound from Must Die, um, but it's kind of as clean as the Eptic stuff, the other stuff. That's pretty cool. Like, you definitely hear that it's supposed to be on this album. That makes it interesting. Uh, the first I produced basically mm, EDM. <laughs> <laughs> Let me link you my Spotify if you want. Uh, there you go. The drums are dope and the, the sounds are just sick, you know? Hey, energetic. That barking, dude. Classic haptic. This is not enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dealer of happiness, love that. Nice. Oh, wee, wee. <laughs> that sound, dude. Must I be like, look at this? Whoa. 
What a dope second drop, god damn it. Yeah, dude. Uh, second drop is my favorite thing of the album yet. <laughs> so far, it's really, really sick. Oh my god. Ah! Eptic and Hall. Can we get an F in the chat? <laughs> Paul, actually a good idea. And I was supposed to check a single from Rage and I will do that today as well. So two singles after this album and then we're good for today. Um, but I will be live on Friday with uh, new releases. I didn't, Lefrus. Uh, at the moment, only new releases, Flopper. Switch is pretty cool here. Some nice sounds in there. Sound design is pretty nice most of the time. It has no impact, kinda. The drums are not coming through properly. Um, mix down is fine besides that. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it's boring. <laughs> That, that's nice though. No, it's it's not boring. I will take that back honestly. There's some really cool sounds in there. The first half of the drop was boring, but now it's getting more interesting. Like there's more elements coming in and some some more interesting breaks and stuff. I like that. It feels like the kick is not loud enough here though. Fluffy, maybe that's um, it's directed to the nut penis of this gargoyle thing. Maybe he says, "Tick, that's the ball," because that's just one ball you see here. That could be actually the story behind it. That was actually a really dope fake drop. Tick, 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 that's the bomb. That's the bomb. 
Yeah, but the drop lacks energy for sure. Actually, and that might be a weird take right now, but I think in this case, the distorted sub-base Hall is usually creating is missing here. So it feels too clean for this type of music. Like the sub bass needs to move and, and punch, you know? And here it's just like a really, really nice little subby. Um, it's weird, it's weird. <laughs> This part is so sick. Like the the way it goes into the switch and then how the switch progresses is fucking dope. First half of the drop is just just a bit uninspired and uninteresting for me. I love that dude. Uh, Fluffy, the thing is, there's a difference between distorted sub and way too loud sub. There's... it's two different things, you know? Um, th my main complaint on Holt's sub bass and mix down was that the sub bass was too loud. Um, here, it's just like a really clean sub instead of a distorted sub. It's, it's a big difference, because distorted subs have harmonics and that's why they sound a lot heavier and, and punchier in the end. And um, just because the sub is too loud doesn't mean it's distorted. And, and that's also the thing. Okay, I will, I will round this up right now. Um, the one main problem I had was, first, of course, my wording was too harsh on the stuff, um, which was a bad take from my side. Uh, I al already said sorry for that. I actually sent a PM to all, but he's not answering, so I don't care. Um, but I said, dude, um, I'm sorry I worded it wrong. I took it down because I don't like to, to create shitstorms or whatever. I'm, I'm really over that shit. I'm, I'm too old for that and my career is, is enough for me to deal with and I don't want to deal with like stupid things like that. And I don't want to hurt people's feelings. That's like my main thing. So to round this up right now, my main problem was that the sub bass was too loud and not the decision to have a clipping distorted sub because volume and gain and clipping are different things, you know, completely different things. If a sub bass is too loud, it can be either distorted or not distorted. It doesn't matter. If a sub bass is perfectly right, it can be distorted or not distorted. It doesn't matter. It's two different things, volume and distortion, you know, and just because it's loud, it's not directly distorted and the other way around. Um, but somehow he got that wrong. Some of you people may got that wrong. Um, maybe I wrote it wrong. Could be the case. Again, sorry about that. Didn't want to hurt anyone. But um, yeah, in this case, the sub has to be a bit more distorted to give the flow energy and, and moving, you know. Uh, Bloodside Hall was actually upset. It's funny because on these lasers, the sub bass is a lot punchier and louder. Can you hear this? <laughs> That's coming. You hear it's like the sub bass really has power and force, and that's kind of missing on those normal four on the floor bases. That's the bomb. But to end this on a positive note, this is definitely my favorite whole song I heard so far. Um, definitely by far. Um, there's some interesting ideas in there. It's not the same repetitive stuff all over again. Um, it's really interesting. I like it. I like how this turned out. I definitely see what kind of sounds are from Aptic, what sounds are from Hole. And this combination is pretty dope. I like it a lot. And it's nitpicky on a high level, um, what I said. In general, this album is pretty fucking dope. I like the variety on this. I love the different styles, different um, approaches, uh, the the nice little collabs. Um, 
perfectly mixed most of the time. It's it's a really, really damn good album and stream the shit out of it now because it's it's dope. And I wish more people would target music like Eptic does. Because music is creativity and this is creative as fuck, even though it has its own twist. So definitely big shout out to Eptic. Um, and I wish you all the success, my dude, for real. <laughs>